So the last month has been pretty dead regarding news with the new Persona 5X. However, this last week we got some more news, primarily three main things that I wish to cover in today's video. 1. The possibility of a beta on May 21st. 2. A showcase of a link that seems to have gotten past the authenticator. And finally, a post by the devs reviewing stats about the first test. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So let's start out first with the beta possibility. There have been rumors across the forum boards of a now deleted post by the devs announcing the possibility of a second beta test starting on the 21st. Personally, I think this is unlikely, seeing as there is less than a week till then and really there's been no formal announcement that hasn't been deleted or any other type of hype that you would expect around such an event. And I just kind of really doubt they'd just drop a beta or a demo like that. But at the end of the day, I could easily be wrong, so it's something to keep an eye out for. Next, we have that link that seems to have gotten past your authenticator. As I've said before in my how to sign up for the Persona 5 beta video and why you really shouldn't, you really need to get past the authenticator to get to the more complex parts of signing up for the beta. And I personally got past this, but the methods I used made it so I never really saw what is past the authenticator. So I, I didn't really know what this looked like, but the link shared on the forums seems to have shown off what you would see should you get past your authenticator in a normal way. In this link, we see a website clearly built for use on mobile that supports a ticket system that lets you gain a chance to possibly, you know, have a chance at joining the demo. Um, sadly, to hit any of the buttons you see, you're gonna need WeChat, which is just not available in the USA. But if you're able to get this app on your phone, despite it not being available, uh, then this one could be a massive step in forward towards getting your hands on the demo. Granted, you will still need an authenticated Perfect World Gaming account, which requires a Chinese ID. But hopefully this will be a helpful step for some of y'all to get a better chance of being able to play this title. Overall, looking at this website does share a greater transparency of exactly how to get into this title and how the random chance works, so I think it was a cool little find and share by the forum boards. Finally, to close out this video, I'd like to cover the dev post where they reviewed the data from the first test. Honestly, there isn't a lot of very useful data here, but they found that Joker was the most popular gotcha target, which honestly could have been expected, and that 810 players chose to go fishing and 127 players tried to hit a home run showcasing that a minority of players decided to try out the more relaxing minigames, as most of them were focused on the core gameplay mechanics. It also shows that a lot of players got accepted for this demo, most likely well over a thousand, um, which makes sense considering the demographics of it. This has really been all I've got for this month. I'm hoping for more Persona 5X news as we move forward, but only time will tell. This has been Christopher Beast. If you enjoy and would like to be kept up to date about Persona 5X, then feel free to subscribe if you so want. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao.